6G is ushering in a new wireless paradigm, not only opening new spectrum bands, like in the upper mid-band range and sub terahertz, but also introducing innovations that can significantly improve spectral efficiency. Today's 5G cellular communication systems are limited to coding 10 data bits to one radio frequency symbol, a modulation order of up to 1K QAM. With advanced techniques, what we call SuperQAM, we can code more data bits to a symbol, thereby achieving greater spectral efficiency. SuperQAM enables a modulation order up to 16K QAM, facilitated by an enhanced wideband receiver with a low noise floor. This advancement can enhance spectral and energy efficiency by up to 40%, allowing for the transmission of 14 data bits in a single radio frequency symbol. Facilitating the reception of SuperQAM modulations hinges on fine precision on the demodulation. We accomplish this through an enhanced receiver having a low noise floor. Moreover, the receiver's design remains simple to facilitate real-time processing and support an ultra-wide bandwidth of 400 MHz in FR3 band. This year, we are prototyping SuperQAM in our lab, utilizing the new upper mid-band spectrum targeting 6G. Specifically, we are using 8 GHz FR3 carrier frequency with 400 MHz of bandwidth in a single component carrier. We have four transmit and four receive antennas operating with two MIMO layers. Here is a closer look at our cable testbed in our lab. For the transmitter and receiver in the system, we have the Qualcomm X100 5G RAN accelerator card, some logic and signal processing in FPGA and the analog frontend. The transmitter and receiver are connected through four cables. In our test, we also emulated an AWGN channel where noise is ingested into the receiver. In our cabled lab test, we have successfully achieved 4K QAM in this configuration. You can see the configuration on our test equipment and the clean constellation after the Super QAM demodulation process. Here we use a receiver that removes common phase error only so that to sustain a real-time low complexity implementation receiver. Beyond our real-time lab measurement test, we have also employed advanced extrapolation techniques to gain deeper insights into the SuperQAM technology. By exploring various receiver designs and channel models, we aim to understand what wireless environment is required to achieve 4K QAM in an 8 GHz system over a non-line-of-sight wireless channel, such as signal-to-noise and link distance, with different system conditions, such as number of antennas. Our first study focused on achievable throughput with SuperQAM with varying link distance. For a device with four receive antennas, we first see the curve that represents the system without SuperQAM. Seen here, as the link distance becomes shorter, the achievable throughput can be increased. However, there is a capacity threshold imposed by the 1K QAM modulation. With 4K QAM, this performance ceiling can be removed as link distance decreases, thereby achieving higher throughput by up to 20%. This is a low-hanging fruit that can be achieved quite easily with our technique. Our analysis has also shown that when we increase the number of device antennas to 8, the throughput with 4K QAM can be further improved by up to 10%, or alternatively, the link distance can be increased by 30%. Our next study looks at how throughput changes with required signal-to-noise ratio. Thanks to Giga MIMO, where the GNOTE-B has a very large number of antenna elements, the required link SNR for sustaining 4K QAM can be as low as 15 to 20 dB. This is within the generally achievable range measured in today's cellular systems. As before, SuperQAM can enable 3 dB lower SNR for devices with more antennas, which translates to faster throughput or extended coverage. For the forthcoming 6G wide area network operating in the upper mid-band, SuperQAM holds significant promise for enhancing both spectral and energy efficiency. Our lab tests have successfully demonstrated the feasibility of achieving in real-time 4K QAM in the 8 GHz FR3 band. This technique is adaptable to any frequency within the 7 to 15 GHz range. Stay tuned as we continue to advance our SuperQAM prototype system to support the innovations on the horizon for 6G.